because uh, for all through the last three or four months, Hillary Clinton was enjoying a big lead over Donald Trump. Now, in one of the polls, actually Donald Trump has taken the lead, and some of the other polls, uh, uh, the, the the lead for Hillary has come down, and that's impacting the market today. We have CNBC's John Harwood, who actually filed a special report. So we've got a race that has come down where Hillary Clinton is now in the real clear politics average down to 2.5 percentage point lead. It had been more than six before, 4.1 in the New York Times, 5.6 in Huffington Post. Now let's take a look at the electoral map because that's where it counts. Donald Trump needs to take Mitt Romney's 206 and add to that to get to 270. Here are our battleground states all around the country. Now here are Mitt Romney's, excuse me, Donald Trump's top prospects. Take a look at this next chart. We're going to show you uh, Iowa. Ohio, Florida, Nevada, all of those are very good prospects for Donald Trump to pick up electoral votes. But if he carries all of them, he's still only at 265. He's got to win someplace else. What are the other targets? Take a look at this next map. We've got uh, several states here in which Hillary Clinton has held a lead. Colorado, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and New Hampshire. She has maintained a working margin there, makes it difficult for him to break through. And then finally, she's got some chances to bake through. Take a look at this last map. Arizona and North Carolina are states that Mitt Romney carried, but that Donald Trump faces a fight to hold on to. So if she carries either one of those, his hill gets steeper. Now, let's take a look at the Senate. Democrats are down. Republicans have 54 seat majority. Democrats need at least four seats in order to get a Senate majority. Here are all the battlegrounds, they're all across the country. Now, let's Look at the reverse dynamic from the presidential race. Strong pickup opportunities for Democrats in both Illinois, Mark Kirk is vulnerable, Wisconsin, Ron Johnson's vulnerable. But then you've got a set of Senate races in which it's a much more difficult fight for Democrats. All of these are close Florida, uh, Missouri, Indiana, uh, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and New Hampshire. And then finally, there is one state, Nevada, where Harry Reid, the Senate Democratic leader, is retiring, where Republicans have a chance to take a seat. And again, mirror image of Donald Trump. If the Republicans carry this, the Democrats' hill gets steeper. Finally, take a look at the House of Representatives, the balance of power there. Democrats need 30 seats to take the gavel away from Paul Ryan, give it to Nancy Pelosi. The problem is there are only about three dozen seats that are in uh, play that are vulnerable Republican seats. They'd have to run the table, and as Donald Trump gets closer in the polls, guys, that gets more and more difficult. Currently, forecasters say they're not going to carry more than 20. We will see in one week.